Welcome, welcome to Lunchtime Yoga. Now, if you haven't heard already, today's session, all the ones from now on online, are going to be 40 minutes rather than 30. So if you didn't know that and you need to scoot back to work or something, uh, just disappear when you need. You're not going to interrupt anyone else's shavasana doing it at home, are you? And let's make a start on our feet. So cushions out of the way. Grab a clear spot. We'll still start pretty slow. And yes, you can see me. All right, so stand yourselves in Tadasana. Feet about hip width apart so you're nice and stable. Spread the toes a bit. Maybe have a look at your feet to begin. Really sussing out where you are in the world. And then closing your eyes, just bring your head back up into neutral. And feel your way up, nice and tall from the feet up. So feet strong into the floor. Feel up through your legs. Nice long spine, just check in, hello, shoulders and neck, a little jiggle and adjust if you need. And feeling that lift right through the top of your head. Just coming into a wee moment of stillness here before you get moving and feel into your breath, everyone. Feel it come in and out through your nostrils. Welcome your breath in and out. Notice your ribs move. And feel your belly move and just invite that space or allow it to move as you breathe, inviting slightly bigger, fuller breaths. And then as soon as you feel you'd like to join in with arms as you inhale, simply lift them overhead, whatever space you've got in the room, maybe wide or out the front. And as you exhale, just let them kind of dribble back down, feel your shoulders relax back down and sink back down into your feet. And you can keep your eyes open or closed, just whatever allows you to focus into feeling a few more really good breaths. And welcome along if you're completely new to this. Welcome back if you've been here a few other times with us online for Uni Red Yoga. Setting a nice, slow, steady start to the class so you can be really conscious and aware and feeling in through your body. Nice big in-breath, up. And as you bring the hands down next time, do a little bit of a shake out. Shake the hands down. And we'll do that a couple more times. As you inhale up, just hands sweep up normally. And as you exhale, a bit of a shake in. Start to maybe notice where you feel those shakes end up through your arms, shoulders, maybe into your body. Keep going. Big breath in and up. And exhale, shaky, shaky. Feel free to start going a little bit lower as well. So really tall and big breath in on the way up. Exhale, shake the hands. You might want to bend the knees, maybe even lean forward a bit, touching to the floor. Two more. Option to add on that shake, shake all through your body, but really just noticing how that feels different from when you were just floating the arms compared to doing the shake. Okay, I believe that's two for me. Well done. Standing tall there, roll your shoulders back a couple of times and open your eyes if you had them closed. Now you need a little bit of runway for the first, but we're just going to take a couple of steps forward and back nice and steady and slow. So you step in your right foot forward about a foot's distance. And then the next foot, and we're still going hip width apart at the moment. And that's enough, and let's go back. Just taking your time to really feel into each part of the foot step. Feel the weight transfer. And let's come forward again. Now, as you're ready with this, we're doing about four or five steps forward and then back, you can close your eyes. So really focusing on feeling what you're doing. If you feel too wobbly for that, no worries, just keep your eyes open a bit or a lot. You might need to slow down a little bit. Notice how, ooh, <laughs> perhaps a little bit wobbly. Notice how it's affecting your breath. Try and get the breath quite smooth and full like we did with those Breathing movements with the arms going up and down. You don't have to breathe in time with your steps. Just notice that you're still able to breathe well. 
Okay, so do that one more time. Just a few steps forward and back. Maybe you're starting to feel a little bit more confident with it with the eyes closed. And then pause back into Tadasana. Steady on your feet. Open your eyes if you had them closed. Breathing in, arms up. This time, take them wide. And then over here again. And on your exhale, bend the knees. Touch the floor if you can. Head down. Inhale. Three, two, arms up. One, exhale down. So it's quite a good way to get a really big full breath in. Inhale. Three, open the chest. Two, keep breathing smooth. And big breath out. A few more times. So try this breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth if you like. See how that feels. Make it a little bit more energetic. I'd suggest, especially at the start of class here, going with quite bent knees on the way down. And I'm going for one more. And up. And then just roll on up to standing. Good work. And roll the shoulders back again. Beautiful. Okay, so let's try the walking forward again. This time though with heel toe and we'll keep our eyes open, okay? So one foot in front of the other. And try not to look down at your feet. See if you can look forward. Do about four steps forward. And if that's too wobbly for you, you can just keep the feet a little bit further apart now going back. So you're really starting to work on the balance. Definitely need in heaps of awareness, yeah, when you're starting to challenge your balance. You can't be thinking about too many other things or having your eyes looking around the room. So just really focus. Good work. Okay, last one. Wherever you're up to now, just stand with your feet apart again. Good work. Stand steady on both feet and let's come into some different spine movements. So first of all, we'll do the cat cow. Bend your knees. Lift your chest and stick your bottom back. I'll go side on if you haven't seen that one before. And then exhale, come down into that kind of cat shape. So standing cat cow and do that a few more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, curling in. Good work, just keep that moving. So every movement we do in class, just make sure that feels really safe for you if you're not sure just pause and wait or make a modification as you know how to do that to make it feel good for you so no pushing yourself through pain or anything you're not feeling okay about all right let's pause in the last cat head down keep breathing maybe stretch your hands further down tuck your tail under a bit more a bit more stretch there then with a really good control, flatten up your back and do the opposite. So stick your bottom back, roll the shoulders back, broaden the collarbones, push a bit off your hands, tuck the chin in and feel a bit more breadth across your chest. Big breath in. And let it go and stand on up. Awesome. Okay, trying a bit of a twist now. So different movement for the spine. Take this um, roll shoulder back and turn and twist a little bit that way. Then they go the other way. So you're bringing your shoulder roll into the twist. And just let your hips and your knees move. Your feet might want to move a little bit as well. But really feeling that roll through your spine. And we'll just keep going a few more times. Feel your head turn as well. You might want to try a few faster ones. Getting your spine to rotate and spiral. Still feeling steady on your feet, awesome. Okay, there's our spiraling. Slow that down and come back to the middle, huh? And now we'll try sideways. So move your ribs over towards your right and come back and now go to the left. So just a little bit of sideways movement. So doing this one, I'm keeping my hips and my feet still and just moving the ribs side to side. Okay, and then we'll try adding on. So shoot on over the side and pause there. Now add a bend, so kind of move the ribs to the side and come back up to the middle, get long and tall through the body and move the ribs to the side first and then try the bend. Come back up 
And one more time on the side. So move it over. A little bend. Come back up to the middle. Last one. So push the ribs out. Then bend. To feel the movement in a slightly different way. Cool. Come on up. Well done. All right. Inhale, arms over here. And then just shake it down like we did at the very start. Exhaling. Maybe shake your shoulders and your feet. One more time. Inhale. <sighs> awesome. Okay. Bring your feet back together. We're going to try those spine movements now with some different foot feet position, challenging your balance a little bit. So if you can, come back to the heel toe stance. If this gets too wobbly for you, because I really don't want you to fall over, you go the feet wider, yeah? So try heel toe in front and just stand there without doing anything. So for many people, that's going to be challenge enough. And if as we get moving, you need to separate your feet, please do that, okay? So let's try a little bit of the cat cow. So bend your knees, stick your bottom back, lift your chest, and then coming down and under. And do that just one more time. So stick the bottom back, lift the chest. The other option to help with your balance is stay next to a table, a chair, or the wall with one hand on it. Okay, and then come on up to standing. Feet in that same position. Go back and let's try the twist. So roll your right shoulder forward. Spin around, move the arm as well if you can. And then try the other side. So if you've not done these kind of balance poses before, just probably do the same body movements without adding a big challenge for your legs. Keep them hip width apart. Beautiful, and we did a side rib. So side ribs to the right, and then we'll add the bend. Come back to the middle. Try the other side. Hopefully you can feel the weight even on both feet. One side's going to be a little bit harder to bend to. Ooh. <laughs> and come back up. Good work. Okay, now you're going to change feet. So take time to spread the feet. Feel them super steady into the floor and nice and strong up through your legs. Steady body. Good. Now do the cat cow. We'll do two of each. So coming into cat. Curl the spine one way and then the other. You might find yourself a lot more wobbly with one leg in front than the other. I think this might be a little bit wobbly for me. Good, and then come on up to standing and then go with your left arm. Shoulder rolls, body rolls around. Moving, ooh, yes it is. Your eyes makes things a lot wobblier, so keep your head still if you need. Just feel your way through this. Adding a little bit of challenge. To your day and your mind body connection cool and then the side ribs so poke them over bend and lean a little come back to the middle last one just go as far as you can manage without getting too wobbly come back up done good work feet hip width apart let's try the three breaths in with the arms moving in and wide breathe in up exhale through your mouth if you want Take your time. And again. Inhale. Three, two, one. And down. One more. And slowly come on up. Good work. Nice one. Feet together. Spread your toes. And let's come into the eagle pose. So I'm going to start with my hands on the hips and just do the legs. So bend the knees a little bit. Take the right leg up. This is another balance pose. And just pop it over top of the other one. Now you might want the big toe and the ball of the foot on the floor there for support. If you want to make it a bit harder, hop of the foot and see if you can wrap it. But still keep your hips pretty square. Good work. Okay, so either that option or something here. Come up a little bit if it's too much for your hips being in there. Need a bit more. Lift over with that leg. Okay, so if you've got your right uh, leg over the top, let's have the right arm hover in the air. And now see if you can slip the left one in underneath it. Back of the hands together, sink your shoulders down, and maybe wrap your hands. So you might just be with the elbows together. And don't worry if you can't do the arms and the legs, just do whatever part of this works for you to give yourself a little challenge today. So holding that pose wherever you've chosen to be, whichever bit of you're doing. 
sink the shoulders down, maybe lift the elbows and just play with that opening across the back of your shoulders, maybe moving the elbows or the hands, just little adjustments for yourself to feel a slightly different angle on the stretch. I'm moving my hands forward and back and then let's pause and hold still <laughs> as you can take a good breath in to finish this side off. Exhale, let it go, sweep your eagle arms out and let them come down. Good work. Okay, hold steady on both feet for a moment. Take a little recovery moment. And when you feel you're ready, join in for the other side. So a little bend. This time it'll be your left leg over the top. Do you want to pause there? Or do you want to try the wrap? It didn't go so well for me on that side today. Nope, I think I'll stay down. So choose where is good enough for you today. Get a nice long torso, shoulders down. And let's go with that left arm up and the right arm under. So as you're doing one side on top and then the other. So maybe you've got just elbows together, maybe back of the hands, maybe your palms. Snuggle the shoulders in, free the neck as much as you can. And then just breathing, conscious breathing. And then really nice awareness as you explore perhaps a slightly different position of the elbows. A lot of people have a tightness across the neck and shoulders. So if you ever move into somewhere where you feel you're getting any sharp pains, just back off. Modify so we're not edging into any pain spots today. Okay, we're nearly done on the side of Garudasana. So getting your torso nice and upright and breathe in and fill your torso up with the air. Slowly let go and unravel your arms, sweeping them over here. Look up if you want. Feet plant back down on the floor. Good work. And I feel like doing the arm shake again. So join in if you want. Inhale, arms up. Shake it out. And you might want to bend down on the next couple. Give your legs a little bit of movement as well. And up. Try a bit of a shoulder as well. Fabulous. Well done. Okay, feet back together. Now I'm going to move a bit so you can see me side arm. We'll do triangle pose or trikonasana. So uh, if this was my mat, I'd be at the front of the short end of the mat. And you're going to move, say, your left leg back. Just position yourself wherever you can see if you need to, okay? So step the left leg back about a foot length. Feel into both feet. So if you step the left foot back, the right one is straight ahead <coughs> in line with the knee, and that back foot's turned back a little bit, and the hips are off, turned off to the side a little bit. It's kind of in between the front and the back foot. Okay? And then we're going to move the hips. So remember at the start where we played with moving just the ribs, now we're going to move the hips over to the side, and then tip them a little bit, and then come back into the middle. So middle hips between your feet. Move to the side and twist them a little bit. So just play with that a little bit. Each time you go in, you're probably getting a bit of stretch in your inner leg. And try and sense that you're really maintaining a good sense of weight in both feet. And let's hold it when you're ready. Good work. So little safety things. Watch you're not locking out that knee. So a bit soft in that front knee, but really good muscular support around your legs. Don't lean so far you're getting any pulling or any sharp pains again and this bottom hand now can support on your leg. You might just be on the thigh. If you go a little bit deeper and that feels okay for your hips and back, feel free. A little bit of push off from that leg and you can stretch the other arm up into the ear. Maybe even turn and have a look at it. Cool sense uh, where your head went when you did that turn. I felt like I was poking my chin out a bit so just tuck it back in if you're also like that. Remember, feeling into both feet, and we're going to stay here for a couple more breaths. So, some of you might feel 
that it's a good idea to perhaps go a little bit deeper but most of us even though I can't see you I can sense <laughs> from what I know of how most people do their triangles that this is more than enough for a couple more breaths Okay, so try and take a good juicy breath on the last little bit here as you finish it off bring the hand down bend that base knee bring your body back up good work okay so step back to the front of your mat and as you reach the other foot back I'll just turn around to the other side so I can still see that I'm on the screen and then stepping back your other foot okay so feel that the hips are in between Hips on a slight little angle. Check you've got some movement in your hips there, nice and steady in both feet. Cool, and then <clears throat> move your feet, your hips towards the back foot and tip the hips. And do that a couple of times. So I know you kind of got the hang of it on the other side, but we'll do it again on this side with this little practice run. Because you never know what might be hiding in your hips on the other side today. Might feel quite different. Just tune in as we're doing the press the hips back and turn. So you try and triangle to keep pretty upright and steady through the body. You can hold there on this next one if you're ready. Hand comes down for support around the knee. Watch your knees not locking out. Really long lift between your ribs and your hips and maybe stretch that arm up if you can. Excite your fingers all the way to the fingertips. Check in with your head position. Yeah, just make any little adjustments as you need when we're holding a pose. If you're either needing a little bit more or less in any part of it, that makes it still manageable for you to stay there and breathe well. So as well as the muscular support from the feet up through your legs, Good sense of tone right around your middle. So you're not just hanging the body out, but we're really holding ourselves there. Okay, I'm going to make the call for that. The final breath call in this pose, really get into that last big breath. And as you're done, bring yourself up with good support from the floor up. Fantastic. Okay, wiggle the feet on in. So, as I was told, now we've got 40 minutes and 30. Instead of 30, I'm just looking at the clock and seeing I'm getting very good at using the time, aren't I? All right, let's come on down to the floor now. So, I'm going to come down through duck pose. So, bring your feet together if you can, balls with the feet touching. And this is a balance as well. So, hold the chair or something if you need. Lift your heels. This is no good for your knees. Just come on, sit down. Slowly coming down and... If Sylvia and MJ are there, I don't know if you're also feeling your thighs after the Warriors we did on Monday night. <laughs> so, thanks for being there on Monday. I can still feel my legs. Nice and upright through the chest here as you pause in this little balance pose. Good to come back to doing some more of that work. I clearly hadn't done many Warrior poses in lockdown. Okay, let's come down, knees down, and just pause there with a little bit of a stretch for your feet. If you can, lean further forward if it's too much for your feet. We won't be long. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. Now, in case you're missing your downward facing dog pose, you can sneak that one in here now. So release your feet. Just make myself a bit more space. Stretch, arms forward, spread your hands. Tuck your toes underneath, and as you're ready, lift your bottom into the ear. Nice long line from your hands up through your hips, and then just straightening your legs as feels good for you. About three more breaths here. So just pausing in your dog, breathing in your dog. Nice strong weight from the hands up. well done okay slowly move yourself into plank pose so really strong through your middle 
as you bring your shoulders now over your wrists and pause here at the top of the plank pop your knees down if you need keep pushing the floor away and we're just going to take three little tricep press or tri chaturanga so slowly come down just go about halfway watch your shoulders don't droop and then push back up and you might want to do that with your knees down that was one so we've only got two more little press down push back up stay strong in your middle one more down and up good work drop your knees again if they weren't already release your feet and come back to child's pose so turn your palms up sitting back head to the floor if you can nice work okay let's take a side bend in child's pose so creep your hands over to one side keep your bottom in about the same place and really reach out through the arms so you feel a bit of a stretch down the side body so stay with your head down i'm just looking up so that you can hear my voice better keep feeling that reach from the fingertips right through into the back of your bottom on that inside line of your body good work and then just loosen it off a little bit to give you space enough to get to the other side so creep your hands on over so swing yourself around reach that inner hand a bit further forward sink back through your bottom get to where you're feeling an interesting enough stretch down that side body let your head come down maybe support it with your other hand just get to where you can really sink into the side bend and the lengthening in the spine good work and then slowly back that off good work come on back through the middle and come to sitting Good work. Actually, come to lying on your side. <laughs> it doesn't matter which side. Just lie on one side. So we're going to start. Sorry, I'm going to spin around the other way. You'll see better that way. You think I would have got hang of this being on camera by now and work out my angles, but I'm still getting there. So lie side on. Just want to give our thighs a little bit of an opening. So a thigh stretch here with your <clears throat> heel pulling towards your bottom on the top leg. Yep. Now, if that's enough for you, just stay there. If you want a little bit more, you lean back onto your bottom and let that foot come to the floor, maybe just off the side of the hip. Don't feel you need to go all the way back. Just stay there with the getting an uh, opening through the hip and the thigh, so from the knee up to the hip on that top leg. So don't feel you need to push the knee down. Just play with leaning back as much as works for you to get that stretch. Just be pretty mindful of your knees in this one, everyone. Good work. Okay, and then just finishing that off. Let's roll back onto the side, onto that same side, and pause for a moment. And then you're going to roll face down. If you can, go face down and do the other side. Otherwise, adjust as you need to get to your side of your body. Where can I say you? Cool. Okay. Other leg. Heel to bottom. So bend the bottom leg if that'll give you more support. If that's what you need. And you can either stay there, or if it feels okay for you, lean back. Good idea to have the head on the floor, or a cushion if you need, as you get into that opening through the thigh here. You don't push into it, just move to where you're feeling enough sensation that you're getting a bit of opening and no pain anywhere else. So don't compromise your knees just to get into a thigh stretch. Okay, let's slowly back on out of that. So come back to your side. Good work. And then come on up to sitting for a moment. I'm going to keep an eye on the time. We have 10 minutes, so we'll do one more seated stretch. So take your legs wide and then we'll go down to the floor. Good work. Toes alive to the ceiling. As much bend in your knees as you need. 
And if you feel you're really kind of collapsing backwards, see if you can get yourself a little bit more space through the torso here to slowly come forward a little. And bring yourself into a bit of a forward fold here. Letting your head come forward and down. Maybe support it with your hands. If you can start just allowing the breath work to slow down a little bit here, I'll guide you through a couple of rounds. Let's have a slightly slower exhale. So breathing in for three counts. Breathe out four, three, two, one. Breathe in three, two, one. Breathe out four, three, two, one. Try in for three. Out for five, four, three, two, one. Now try a couple more counting for yourself. Adjust as works for you, slower or faster, but try and keep the exhale a little bit slower than the inhale. Nearly there. Try and stay with the counting, stay with your focus. Finish off this last one, take your time. And then we'll just real slowly roll onto our back. So you bring yourself on up to sitting. Good work. Gather your legs inwards. And then roll down onto your back. <clears throat> oh, all right. Let's try to lead straight. And stretch your arms out over here. And then bring your right knee into your chest. And just hold on to it for a moment there. And then curl your head on up if you can. And let's just hold here with a little bit of core strength as you bring the upper body up towards your leg. If it feels okay for you, float your other foot off the floor really strong through your middle. And if you want a little bit more, straightening your arms out as well as you hold that. And then bring your arms back in again to give another little squeeze of the leg into your body, into your middle. Lowering the leg if it was off the floor, head back down onto the floor. And gently straighten the leg up towards the ceiling, feeling the opening through the back of your leg. And very slowly lower the leg all the way back down to the floor. Nice one. Okay, let's try the other side. So hug it on into your chest. Use your arms. Just gently coax it in. If you're getting pressure on the knee, hold underneath the back of the thigh and slowly curl yourself up. Support your head with your hand if you need. The neck's getting sore, nice and strong through your middle. The other options were to float the other leg off the floor. Check in with your breath, maybe one arm, maybe both arms come free. Good, full breath in and out here. Finish it off. And then we go back nice and slow as we came out. Hands, squeeze the leg in, lower the leg. Slowly sinking back to the floor, maybe you can take your leg back down with you. Releasing the arms, straightening the leg towards the ceiling. And then slowly lower the leg back down to the floor. And pause. Okay. So we are heading into Shavasana now, which is the final resting pose. So pop something warmer on if you need. You know, I'm going to sit up so you can hear my voice better. Your final few minutes of class today will be lying down. So... Take any extra little jiggles as you need before you get the body to come into stillness. And then once you're down there in Shavasana, just check in with the best body position for you. Maybe feet wider than your hips. Soften your toes and your feet. You're welcome to bend your knees if you need to support your back. 
<sighs> take a sigh if you like and really sink and let go these beautiful couple of minutes in your day to really slow down now so we've done the work with your body and harnessed your awareness in now just staying with your awareness nice and close to what's going on here just feel yourself progressively melting into the floor allow the weight of your body to be held by the floor feel the heat heavy let's take our awareness in a little bit more can you feel your heart beating Feeling what you can. Can you feel anything else going on in your insides? Any tummy gurgles, things moving as you breathe? And with the same awareness, now watching your thoughts as they come and go you might like to imagine you're gazing into the back of your forehead try and stay with just observing notice one thought let it go and watch for the next. Are you still watching the thoughts? We're nearly done. Draw your awareness back each time you notice you're drifting off. You're letting go of observing your thoughts now and pop back down and notice your heart beating or your lungs moving, your belly moving. Feel back into physical things in your body and as you're doing that slowly starting to take slightly fuller breaths a bit more air coming in and out each time as we slowly start to wrap things up sweet sound marks the end of our class today everyone just finish up as suits you if you want to stay on the floor for a bit longer whatever you're feeling thanks so much for sharing your yoga space with me today doing some yoga every day always brings me a bit of lift so thanks for getting me there today have a good one and i'll see you soon